What to Play presents the top 10 PS4 games of 2015 so far. Our ranking is not a personal opinion. It's based on a 1 to 10 score that aggregates gamers and critics' reviews into a unique score called Play Score. Opening at number 10 is Hotline Miami 2. Wrong number. The gore and blood continues. This sequel offers a more varied and harder gameplay that is bigger in the scope. Wrong Number presents a semblance of a story that is absent from the original. It plays smooth, coupled with intense visual effects, and of course, a soundtrack that will get you pumped up. It has a play score of 8.8. Number 9 is Saints Row 4, Re-Elected. One of the best open-world games on the PS3 is now on a new-gen console, packed with tons of new content like added superpowers, better graphics, and even sillier humor. And what's more, you also get Gat Out of Hell as a bonus. Isn't it great? Although some bugs remain from the previous version, it is likely to give you a hitch. A play score of 8.8. Rank number 8 is Dying Light. Probably the best action slash zombie game as of date. First person parkour is so awesome when combined with in your face zombie massacre. Techland outdid themselves in the zombie genre with top quality graphics, dynamic zombie AIs, clever crafting system, and a vast open world experience. However, the lack of facial expression on NPCs kinda put me off. A play score of 8.8. In 7th place is Grim Fandango Remastered. Manny Calavera is back in this classic. Those who played the original will easily fall in love with this version and those who haven't will find a timeless adventure game. It stays true. The witty and funny dialogues, twists, and memorable characters are all here, now in upgraded graphics and a redid soundtrack. This is a remaster done well. It holds a play score of 8.9. At number 6 is Super Stardust Ultra, a fading franchise that is surprisingly afloat due to its multiplayer fanbase. With a few added features and minor to near-invisible graphical upgrades, Super Stardust Ultra is pretty much the same game as its previous version, with the same addictive formula, which is probably why it's still as exciting as ever. Despite that, interactive streaming is surprisingly enjoyable. A play score of 9. Ranked 5th is Starwall. This is a game best played with friends on a couch. Trust me, with its simplified controls, funny customizations, upbeat music, and a very addictive co-op mode, this game will make any party shine. Although for now, there hasn't been any online multiplayer mode, but hey, who could blame them, when playing it in a crowd at home is so much more awesome. A play score of 9. Fourth place is Helldivers. A very cliche but effective storyline that may not be the best looking game on your console, but is definitely one of the most co-op fun. Its intense level per level action is never boring, with lots of different challenges to choose from, and an awesome arsenal to choose, ranging from heavy machine guns to armored vehicles. It has a play score of 9. Number 3 is Life is Strange. Lately, I'm glad that more and more games are giving higher importance to story and content. Sure, graphical prowess gives instant attraction to a game, but that is nothing compared to a good story that lasts a lifetime. With its excellent main character, interesting scenario, and a great story that makes your choices feel meaningful, Life is Strange gets a play score of 9. Second best is Bloodborne the spiritual successor of the Soul series that looks and plays better. Set in a vast, wonderfully grotesque world, this game ups itself with awesome character and monster designs, explosive new weapons that transform at your will, randomized chalice dungeons, tons of heart-stopping enemy encounters, and epic boss fights. Get ready to die a lot. Bloodborne holds a play score of 9.1. And the best is Resident Evil HD Remaster. Who knew that having limited vision of the surroundings due to fixed camera angles 
Restricted action choices and scarce supplies make a game so intense it becomes awesome. Resident Evil did just that. Although it's only a remaster, a lot of modern day horror games still can't compare to this game's history and brilliance. It holds a play score of 9.3. To recap, here are the 10 best PlayStation 4 games of 2015 so far.